Come on, Ange. You can tell your little sister. You're still in love with John, aren't you? Every morning when I wake up, for a second it's like he's there. I can smell him. I can feel his arms around me. And then when I open my eyes, he's gone. And for that moment, I can barely breathe at all. Wow. You knucklehead. I'm going to be just fine. But yes, to answer your question, I still love him. And I guess you're not the only one. What do you mean? Well, Mom had me thinking it was all a one-way street between you and John. If you really love him, maybe he's not as bad as I thought. But last night at Capricorn, I saw the way he came running with that whole team of cops. That was all for you. The guy may not show it, but he definitely has feelings for you. And all these feelings John has, they don't matter to me at all. He's in love with someone else. John and Bo have identified the killer. The killing club killer. It's Marcy's agent, Hayes Barber. Have they picked him up yet? He left here with Marcy earlier before we knew, and no one's seen either one of them since. Oh, my God. That can't be good. The guy made a point of coming over here to ask me about the kidnapping. I think it's a big game to him. And I can't believe I let that freak sail out of here with Marcy. It's not your fault. John assigned a cop to protect me and my sister. If only you'd been looking out for Marcy. What? Did you say sister? Uh, she's from California. She works at the Capricorn. So that's why my ears were ringing. Hi, boss. Hey. Layla Williamson. Ah. Huh. So you're the girl that spent the night with my brother. This is my sister, Adriana. She's considering a career in diplomatic relations. It's okay, Antonio. I think your sister has a right to know. I spent the night with your brother. A wonderful, magical night. And I'm moving in next week after we shop for the baby's furniture. It was kismet, wasn't it, baby? Layla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kidding. You did know I was kidding, right? Sure. I'm gonna go check with the bartender. Find out if he's seen Rex. I'll be right back. Guess that just leaves us. <sighs> Guess so. And why do I get the impression that you'd like to punch my lights out? It's not you. I just worry about my brother. Antonio and his girlfriend have really been through it. Mm. Say no more. Let me put your mind at ease. I think your brother is totally hot, and you'd think I'm lying if I said otherwise. But whatever drama he's got going with his woman, I'm not getting anywhere near it. I didn't even want to stay there last night. Antonio and Vange made me, okay? I didn't mean to be such a biatch. Hey, girl, uh, we've all got it in us. <laughs> and you're just being protective of your brother. And I'd be the same way if it was Evangeline. So what do you say? Uh, start over. Layla Williamson, Adriana Kramer. I know you're scared. Okay, but it sounds like Bo and John are closing in on this guy. It's gonna be that much harder now that there are two suspects. Two? I... I thought you said it was Hayes Barber. There might have been an accomplice. And until they're both locked up, no one is safe. You guys talking about that killing club nut? Yeah. The cops are here asking about Marcy Walsh leaving with her agent and that lawyer. What lawyer? The new guy in the DA's office. Hugh something. What? I don't understand. What would Hugh be doing with Marcy and Hayes? Thanks, Billy. I can't believe it. Hugh working with the killer. You know him? I had a couple dealings with him. He seemed like a nice, normal, hardworking guy. Yeah, well, so did Daniel Coulson. Guess I should let John fill me in on the details. Uh, hey, excuse me. I'm heading over to the police station if you want to follow me. 
Is your sister coming along? She could stay with me. That's okay. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Thanks, Antonio. She'll be fine with me. No problem. I'm gonna see if he's... All right. I'm gonna head over to the station. Antonio's gonna keep an eye on you. Would you stop dumping me on the bus? Then take it easy on him. Don't give him too much trouble. Okay, okay. You be careful.